HTMVAX with your colorstyle.com. And in this video, I would like to go a little bit deeper in detail on what it means to be bright, cool, and medium. So if you're thinking that this is your color type and you just need a little bit more clarity, then this is the video for you. It's also a great video to watch if you're feeling like you're in between, not too sure what the difference might be between bright, cool, and light, medium, and deep. This is certainly gonna help as well. So the first thing that we wanna make sure that you are in the right color type is that you are medium, meaning that you are not light and you are not deep. So if you were light, you would have light hair, eyes, and skin, and that would make you light, okay? And deep would mean that you have a very deep feature about you, whether it's your eyes, your hair, your skin, or all three or two. You have deep features and really need more of darker colors to balance you. If you're neither one of these, then choose medium. Medium is a safe place for bright and cool. Don't feel stressed out if you're thinking, oh, I maybe I'm more light or I'm more deep. Medium is a great place to be because you can always adjust it later and go a little lighter, a little darker as you, as you need. And I'll show you what I mean, okay? So you are medium. The next is the colors. Bright, cool, and medium uses clear chroma colors. Clear chroma means the color is pure, has not been muted or grayed or grunged up in any way. And you can see here in the middle ring of this, of this color wheel, it is a, those are pure colors. White is then added to lighten it, and black is added to darken it. And these colors are technically a little bit softer than the brightest ring because they've had something added to them. But they're not grayed, they're not muted, they're just softened a little bit with white and black. Over here on the right is the selection, the range of colors from just a little bit lighter than bright to, so, to about a medium darkness in color. This is the medium range, okay? So if you were to compare this, say, to the light, the bright, cool, and light, you can see there's a pretty big difference in the overall vibe of the color palette. The bright, cool, and light goes from very light to just a little bit darker than the bright, so it's a very light, airy color palette. And over here, the colors start to become much more intense and a little bit heavier, just on the medium side of things, okay? So this is where you would fit because these lighter colors might even wash you out a little bit, not do much for you. And then you have cool undertones, okay? With cool undertones, the sweet spot for your colors are gonna be right here. Between magenta and blue purples, these are blue base pinks, these are colors that only really flatter someone with cool undertones and not so much with someone with warm undertones. These are the colors that would flatter someone that is bright, warm, and medium. These are very warm yellow base colors and only really flatter someone with warm undertones. So if you're looking at these colors and they feel right and you're like, yes, I can totally rock wearing magenta and those blue purples, then you are in the right spot. But if you're feeling like, I cannot wear magenta, maybe you are warm and you might wanna look at the bright, warm and medium color palette if you're gravitating more towards the apricots and tomato reds and mustardy yellows and golden yellows, okay? Assuming that you are in the right spot for cool undertones, this is your full range of color. You range from a true red all the way around to true yellow. And these true yellows can be like lemon yellows, um, even some mossy greens. And these are all really considered uh, cool yellows because they have blue added to it. So really any color that uh, has some blue added to it is going to likely flatter you, okay? And yes, green is here. Green is not a warm color. I know that a lot of people think that, but true green is a balance of both cool and warm, blue, uh, blue and yellow. So it's a very balanced color and can really, it's universal and works for both warm and cool. So it's down here on the bottom of the color wheel, almost straddling the center line between warm and cool. And then we have a range here of some lime greens and spring greens, but because they're kind of a blue-ish yellow, a lot of individuals that are bright and cool can wear these colors pretty well. If you are feeling like these colors are too strong, you might wanna take a look at the bright, cool, and light color palette just as a point of reference, okay? 
So this is a, a few colors from the color palette, just a little mini color palette in your PDF that you can download on the post. And it's just to give you a little bit of a, an essence of the color palette. And you can see here that it's, uh, it has lots of bright jewel tones, has black and white, some cool white, and it's just a really bold color palette. So if this is you, you can get your color fan bundle. It includes your cool neutrals and your bright, cool, and medium color fan and a couple delightful little bags to hold your pages in because these are customizable. You have rings here that you can make smaller color fans and take them with you however you want when you go shopping. So I hope that helps. And if you're trying to figure out what colors flatter you best, and most importantly, to learn what colors to avoid that drain you or overpower you, take the quiz out on yourcolorstyle.com slash quiz. It's absolutely free, and it'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how you can figure out what types of colors are gonna make you shine. I'm Jen Vax, and thanks for watching.